Alrighty guys, if my lips look a little bit white, Elizabeth put some chapstick on me. But in today's video, we are going to organize my nightstand and get it ready for baby boy. He didn't know I am 27 weeks. When you see this, I will probably be farther along. Um, but yeah, we are going to do a nest with me. And then I'm going to show you guys what I keep in my nightstand. Honestly, the bottom drawer just has random stuff. So it's not even going to be missed um, when I take it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of organize it and just share with you guys what I'm going to keep in my nightstand table. I just realized. The iPod door. Oh, and I charge it? Yeah. yeah. What I'm just cleaning out my nightstand and I realized I don't think I ever recorded, but basically we have all of this journals because I've been journaling since I was coming to pregnant. That is an old iPad case, nightlight, we have some books, I want to finish reading this one, this one I will probably just get rid of, um, maybe I'll give it to my niece or something, she might like it, um, random nursery rhymes book, we have two journals that are just extra, we have this, I don't recommend it. It's a pregnancy journal. Maybe if this was your first pregnancy and you didn't have kids at home and you had all the time in the world. But it's just like too in detail, which I think is kind of unnecessary. We have this taking in charge of your fertility book. Hopefully, I don't ever need this again, but it is a really good book. Um, I'll talk more about that after baby boy is here and healthy and alive and well and all that fun stuff. Um, and then I have these two mother and baby books. Then I never did finish reading, but my friend got me, so I did start them. I was praying to Elizabeth, but I never I finished them. I think that's for Daddy's golf shoes. To get like I don't know, maybe I don't know. I think that's for Daddy's golf shoes. Maybe it's not. Okay, let's see if this will help this light. Alrighty, so. We have, so far, this is what we have. I'm going to have to wash some things, maybe get a basket. But we have some burp cloths. We have some spare clothes. I have my bra that I, so I can hook up my, like, breast pump in. We have, like I said, extra clothes. I think I'll put, like, soothers in here as well. And we have diapers, wipes. I want to get nipple cream. This will be for his bassinet, his change bag cover. Oh, excuse me. And I also have... To get my manual breast pump. Oh yeah, we have wipes. These are his gonna be for when he spits up. I put him on my shoulder when he burps and it will pick up the mess. And then we got the Hawk up breast pump, I think is how you say it, with the lid. Um, I got it for, is it the Hawk though? Now that I'm looking at it, I don't even see it. Oh, okay, right here, okay. Um, so we are going to be trying that out. Um, and I got a gift card for Christmas, so I bought it from a local, um, baby boutique. So I'm keeping that up here as well. And then I think I want to put my manual breast pump in my nightstand drawer as well. And that is it for now. I plan on doing some more organizing, but at least step one, it's in the right spot. And I also have this reusable change pad I'm going to put in there as well. Alrighty, so I thought I would just kind of quickly show you guys what I've done on each level so far. It is January 18th, I believe, and I am going to be 28 weeks on Thursday, and I just kind of thought I would take you guys around, around don't mind my house, but just kind of show you guys what we've done so far on each level um, to prep for a baby boy. So in the downstairs bathroom, it is a hot mess. I want to organize this, but we have some diapers and wipes. I just need to like organize the drawers, and that's really all I've done in this bathroom. Um, I might add some diaper cream, things like that, extra clothes, but for now, it's all in here. And then over here, I understand he is not going to be playing with toys anytime soon, but basically, um, I'll probably move this to a higher shelf, but I've just put some like toys down here that are more like appropriate for his level and anything with smaller pieces up above. I'll probably still have to move this 
or like put it in a tote bin, but for now it's sitting there. Um, and this toy as well. But I have um, just like his blocks and stuff like that. Um, oh, this got turned. I think this is Elizabeth's dog. Yeah, that's Elizabeth's doctor stuff. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else's husband do this? Oh my goodness. Handles that go on the outside. Um, and then we have just like rattles and I don't know, just like things like that in here. Um, a car toy and then just like puppets. And then the kitchen, this is real life guys, okay? Solo parenting. Alyssa just washed her hands. Um, but I do want to organize the kitchen and I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in here, but I want to put us like bottles in, I don't know, somewhere in the kitchen. And then uh, Alyssa is just grabbing some of her toys to play with because um, it's kind of nighttime after dinner over here. I still have some organizing to do. Um, a lot of this is Elizabeth stuff, but I'll just keep whatever is like bigger on the bottom shelves. Um, but there hasn't been too much over here. And then we just have a swing over here. And then heading upstairs, Richard vacuumed today. So the stairs are vacuumed. Um, the bathroom is complete. I do have to, um, wash his towels. He will use Elizabeth's um, like face wash cloths or whatever. He can keep those, but he's got his towels in there. I only had two with Elizabeth and it worked fine, but I just find we're doing laundry. Like, I don't know. I just figured I might need a couple extra and they were so cheap. I just got them like mom to mom sale. And then over here, we have, I did get him some new bath toys, but over here, this um, has to get moved, but this eventually will be like his shelf. So like we have um, Richard's stuff. We have like my drawer of random stuff. Elizabeth's drawer says so like extra bows and stuff. Um, that's like all of her spring ones. Um, that, and then we have just random stuff in here. Those are some of the baseboards that came off. And then, yeah, washcloths. Um, yeah, so we have that. And I just put all of, like, our extra supplies in here. So we have some Hello Bello diaper cream. Um, we have some of this um, natural shampoo and body wash. Diaper cream, more diaper cream. Um, yeah, just everybody's extra, like, stuff for the bathroom and then in the master bedroom we do not have the bassinet in here yet i'm leaving that till march um and i probably will keep it in his room that's what i did with elizabeth here let's turn away um until we actually needed it um so once the nursery's done i'll move it probably in there but we have this all not organized but everything i basically need is in here we have some diapers wipes change pad some burping cloth, some extra clothes. Um, we have the bassinet cover, mattress cover, whatever. And we have this. It. I didn't have this for Elizabeth, and I wish I did, but I couldn't find it my size. But it's supposed to fit basically any kind of nursing bra or whatever pump. So I'm hoping. And then somewhere, oh yeah, under here we have the haka or haka. I'm not even sure what it's called, but. For now, this is what's in here. Then over here, we basically have my postpartum bin. Um, I never did this with Elizabeth, but this is like nursing tops and things I'll most likely be wearing in like the fourth trimester. This is just extra pregnancy stuff, if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, so this is postpartum stuff. And then this is basically, I still have to go through it one more time. There's stuff I'm not wearing anymore because it's like falls over. But basically, I took out everything I'm not going to be wearing, like, probably until the following fall kind of thing. Like, I took everything out, um, basically just put what I would be wearing for the rest of the um, pregnancy. And even some of the stuff I won't be wearing, it's just up here for some reason. Okay, I'm a little out of breath. Just had to help us with the bathroom. Then she wanted to be a ballerina. So, here is Baby Boy's Nursery. 
Um, I don't think you guys have seen this, but I also added this. Um, I have the option, I have the digital, so if I want I can make it bigger. It's just hard right now being in quarantine. I feel like I can only put things off my computer right now. Or I could order it off of um, like Shutterfly or something, but I don't know how that would work. Um, but anyhow, here's his room so far. This I think you've seen. I do want to eventually like move everything out and um, like give everything in a vacuum and stuff. This I think is done. I'm not 100% sure, well, sure yet, but I might move like a little bit of stuff around. I don't know, um, but I think that's what it's gonna look like. And then over here, this is what my mom made for him. So she made a blanket for Elizabeth and I believe it went with, could have been a coincidence, but her other one, her, Elizabeth was pink and went with her nursery and then this one's blue, so. Um, super, super cute. I don't think she made a hat for Elizabeth though. Like she did, but not, it didn't match her blanket. So maybe she just had like leftover yarn or something, but it's so stinking cute. So we have that and then the pans. And then I got the extra tote bin, which I don't know if I showed you that or not. Um, and then this is all newborn and I believe zero to three months. Cause you just never know the size. We've got diapers and wipes. We have um, bibs, and I don't know what else I'm going to put in here. We have that, and then we have his cloth diapers that he will do once he's, like, over 8 pounds. I've always done, like, with Elizabeth, I did newborn diapers, and then once they were out of newborn, I did cloth because these ones only go, I think it starts at um, 8 pounds. And then this is just this extra mattress sheet protector. Oh, and we got to get an extra crib sheet. So I did that, and then these are just extra random stuff, like we have his muslin blanket, and like um, a cloth diaper bag up here. Then over here, I still have to organize this drawer, um, but for now, this is kind of what it looks like. And then we have um, his newborn clothes up here, and then like his outfits, and then I, this is all zero to three months. Um, stuff in here as well so I want whoop, so there's that and then we have just random stuff that I still have to go through and organize and clean and then same over here and then over here we have basically anything up to six months so three three months three to six months are in here um, so yeah, that's what's in there. And then we have just like, um, I took out the holiday stuff. I just kind of want to keep whatever, basically now until like September 1st is stuff in here. Um, then I have to add stuff. So those I'll have to like wash and put away. Actually this I could probably just throw up in one of these bins, but I do have to get his like diaper bag ready at some point. And then we have these two outfits that are like, I don't even know, oh, zero to three months. So I just put them up here because they're more like sets, if that makes sense. And also, don't get these hangers from winners. They suck. If they drop, they break. And then you're screwed. So I don't recommend these hangers at all. Don't know the brand, but they're from winners or like Marshall's Home Sense, you know, that brand. That is everything. I'm also in a different top because. Um, Elizabeth had an accident and I got pee on my shirt. So, um, yeah, mom life here, but I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this little update, um, video just to share with you guys where I've been, like, updating wise. And for those who are nesting and in the process of it, um, you can kind of see where I'm at. So, this will go up later, but at this moment, I will be 28 weeks. So, this is kind of what we have done so far at 28 weeks so or between 27 and 28 weeks alrighty forgot to end this but i will see you guys in the next video bye guys